Welcome back folks and friends connecting dots to here we are Saturday April the 22nd 2017 and this is essentially a follow-up video to a hangout I streamed live yesterday a day ago I'm not sure you had an opportunity to check this video out um, unbelievable video evidence that's um, or evidence yeah I'm going to be using it against him it's actually a video that was uploaded by Dana he took the video down someone had uh, downloaded the video onto their YouTube channel and then another par interested party shared the uh, link with me and I made a wicked video not only busting Dana Dernford how he's going to jail but also Kevin Blanche how he's actually been busted before a fraud anyhow um, you know some good things have come out of that video it's uh, a lot of people have woken up I've received our again this morning a few more emails thanking me for exposing these frauds and uh, the other good thing well some of you may not think it's good but um, when I before I left for lunch today there was only about 310 312 views with only nine thumbs down I come back from lunch I log back in 342 views 32 thumbs down so yeah um i mean i i, I hid the thumbs down right now because of course the the, the method of operation here is to try and make the look uh, the video look like it's it's you notes know, there's i'm being discredited there's it's junk information you don't want to watch this video look all the other people give it a thumbs down yeah, anyone with common sense to watch the entire video these people are absolutely busted and it, it's going to get better here folks uh, i believe so hang tight honestly uh so if you come out and check out the um the video itself today uh there's a there's an interesting comment there but before i get into that first uh so like i said i had to I hit hide the <clears throat> the thumbs up however if you give it a thumbs up and you've got your settings set on your youtube channel to share your favorites and your likes if you like this video it'll still be shared with others which is the point i made at the end i can't do this alone I need your help I can make the video but it's only by you folks sharing it so although the thumbs down are hidden please go ahead give it a thumbs up and share it please this is very important now before I even get into the the the, the comment I want to just bring your attention to this video he just they <laughs> Kevin Blanche just uploaded this video. I can't believe it. I'm going to share with you what has been said in this. So uh, I'll pull it down so you can see the date. As you can see, April 21st, 2017. He's having heart surgery on Monday. Unbelievable. I mean, this guy, he is so connected within the medical field that he goes in for a checkup for, well, he calls it, what a medical, you know what? How about you just listen to it yourself? Does this make any sense? So I want to give you an update. Just came from the heart surgeon procedure this morning, and not good because I don't know how you're alive. So I'm having heart surgery on Monday. I got a valve that's completely shut off. I mean, right off the gate, he says you had rheumatic fever as a child. I said, No, I didn't. I says I was born with a severe heart murmur. I've you know, and he says, Well, I don't know how you're. He's been born with a severe, you know, with Dana, I mean, with Kevin, it's always severe all the time. So he's been, he was born with a severe heart murmur, but he, he hasn't been having his heart checked. And according to him, he just, you know, he's overcome AML leukemia, but they never thought about checking his heart. And now he's just went into some, what, some heart surgeon procedures and he gets the results right away on the 21st and they've already got him booked up to have a heart surgery on monday honestly i'm like wow aren't any of his followers going to call him up on his bullshit on uh, uh, one block blocked artery i mean my, my stepfather had with uh, uh, triple heart surgery uh, he had three arteries blocked at various uh, degrees of blockage and uh, he didn't he wasn't able to even though he had some friends that were doctors or his doctor had some good connections within the medical field in Canada here he still had to wait I believe was at least three months you know for you to go in and see your heart surgeon on a on a Thursday or a Friday and be told that you're coming in on the Monday 
Holy jumping. Anyways, well, I believe it's in, they're throwing it in their overdrive. He's got to try and collect some sympathy donations. But let's get back into the juice of it here, folks, because uh, I believe it's coming to um, an end. I really do. And I've just made an invitation to, yeah, Mary Palco, Jeff Palco's mother, the late Jeff Palco, the person I speak of in this video that I made a day ago. If you haven't seen it, it's also uploaded at Connecting Dots 3, and they did the exact same thing there. Hit me up with a whole bunch of thumbs down, so I had to hide my thumbs up. It doesn't matter because, um, you know, regardless if Mary agrees or not to come to allow, you know, to be interviewed, it doesn't change the fact what's been presented in the video. Kevin Blanche was found guilty of services fraud. See, you know, he scammed services, cable, electricity, I don't know, he stole something of some type of service. And there's also the fact that he scammed the late Jeff Palco out of his life savings, $18,500. We, uh, we have Jeff's own email that backs up. There, there was $18,500 that was sent to, to Kevin as an investment fund. And the very uh, last videos that came from Jeff where he uh, lets everyone know that he never got his funds back. So regardless if Mary agrees or not, it does not change the facts, folks. And uh, don't be surprised if she decides not to, to, to uh, you know, <clears throat> agree to be interviewed. Um, she's, uh, you know, it, it, it takes a special person to be... Uh, come out here on YouTube videos and I'm not sure you know with all this stuff that's taking place if she's willing to do that however I've made the invitation as you can see here uh, uh, I'm also uh, I said to us uh, if you don't mind I'm wondering if you'd be all right with viewers posting their questions so I may ask them to you so if you're watching this video or you're new to this whole thing uh, please go uh, do a search on the name Jeff Palco uh, there's the last name right there the spelling of the last name uh, this is uh, the late Jeff Palco's biological Mary Palco, who uh, was in contact with me back in 2014 when this whole thing started, uh, or was unfortunately the end for her son. It was so sad what these people have done to her, and uh, I I'm hoping that you lend a hand in spreading this information because the fraud, the scamming that these people are allowed to uh, perpetrate on YouTube is not being dealt with by YouTube. YouTube, which is a, a point that I made in that video, is actually helping the frauds. This is what I've noticed. I said before, many of the thumbnails that are posted on the side of YouTube are part of its fraud. It's the New World Order disinformation and uh, <laughs> You know, it just all goes back to fake news, oddly enough, you know, and if you go to my YouTube channel, uh, isn't that what I'm calling out here? The fraud and disinformation YouTubers. This is before the word even fake news existed. I was, I put this up back in 2014. I said, I had enough. I've been out here since 2009, folks. Like I said, I'm not talking out my ass. I've been out here since 2009. I noticed that there was a group of fake news. And now that I can tie Alex Jones right back up to main mainstream media and oddly enough Alex Jones was a guy coming out lying about the whole pizza gate and the pedophile thing and now he had to retract all those things and now they're making up the story that he's being sued and the same thing with Fukushima it was Alex Jones and his reporting that everything in the Pacific Ocean was dead you remember that video and then they had to recant on that story too saying no 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 sorry it was just to sand along a specific beach along the Oregon coast and oddly enough if anyone had taken the time to to do a search on that beach in Oregon, they would have known that they've known for decades that the black sand along that beach was radioactive. Again, it's fake news. I hope you take your time and spend uh, and write a comment down below in this video, something that you would like Mary Palco to possibly answer. I know a lot of people have asked me, why didn't the family go after him legally? That corner, that those sorts of questions. Post them down below. Let's take a proactive approach with this. Let's knock the disinfo and fraudsters right off YouTube. And I made a point of how this is, Jeff Rents ties into it. Uh, the Richie Allen show ties into it. They are all part of the Alex Jones fake news society on YouTube. 
Go ahead, lend a hand, post your question down below. I'll see if Mar Mary is willing to come out here and uh, I'll post the live interview if she agrees uh, to. And if not, she can read your comments. She came out here and saw this video that I just uploaded. So she'll read it and she 